the child education so today we will be studying about the skeletal system of human so if we study the skeletal system of human you can describe it into two parts one is your axial skeleton and another one is your appendicular skeleton so what is axial skeleton where can we find this axial skeleton it is present in your axis that means from your head to your coccyx the axis it is the axis where these axial bones are present okay axial skeleton uh, apart from this axial skeleton we can find this appendicular skeleton that means the appendages the bones which are going to make your appendages that means your hand or your leg the bones which are present in your appendages can be called as appendicular skeleton axial skeleton can again be divided into two parts one is your skull and another one is your vertebral column okay this skull means this is your skull and the vertebral column is present in your dorsal side you can uh, see in any picture available in the internet or you can see your backbone specifically so skull can again be divided into two parts two kind of bones are present in your skull one is your facial bones and another one is your cranium so what is the meaning of cranium here cranium is the brain box that means a box present in your skull a box or uh, you can say a box of your skull a part of your skull which actually uh, holds your brain that is cranium so in case of cranium you can find eight number of bones in your facial bones it is 14 numbers and this total skull contains 22 number of bones okay after this uh, 22 numbers a total vertebral column and this 22 uh, bones the axial skeleton contains approximately 80 number of bones number of bones present in your axial skeleton is 80 and the number of bones present in your appendicular skeleton that is 126 okay so in today's specific part will be the cranium which is your brain box now proceed to the brain box okay if you see as this is your skull from the side vision from this vision you are seeing your skull and this one is your frontal part this one is your frontal cranial bone and then here another section or another bone is present this bone is your parietal bone in this region and if you see just above your ear just above your ear you can see temporal bone and at last you can see here at this region in the back side the occipital bone the occipital bone okay this is the basic more anatomy of your cranium now what about the numbers here what about the numbers here? if you see this frontal bone then here one bone is present in your front from this region to this region okay if you see the parietal then this one is your parietal part from this half uh, if you have uh, divided into your divided your head into two equal halves then you can see parietal bone here and parietal bone here if you see temporal bone this temporal bones are present at this region and then occipital bone then occipital bone is present at this back side region next another bone is present that is sphenoid bone what is the name of bone sphenoid bone here sphenoid bone is present from this part of your cranium to this part going or running beneath the eyes running beneath the eyes just going from this region to this region and the structure if you see 
the sphenoid bone structure it can be looking like or it can seem like this this is your larger wing and somehow here is your smaller wing whatever now coming to the main part that there is a, an outgrowth in this region you can see an outgrowth i'll be showing you the picture in 3d or in 2d just like an image in the video if you see this region here cella tarsica is present which holds your pituitary gland and if you see this upper part of your sphenoid bone which acts like a base for your cerebrum to be hold to be present upon this uh, sphenoid bones this region okay now after this sphenoid bone your cranium also contains ethmoid bone the name of the bone is ethmoid bone this it is a small bone which is present just beneath your nasal bones which helps the olfactory nerves to pass through it going to the brain or going to your attached with your cerebrum so coming to the numbers if you see this frontal bone is one in number if you talk about the parietal bone it is two in number because if you break your head into two equal halves or two equal hemispheres then you can see one parietal bone here another parietal bone here then it is two in number same goes with the temporal bone and it is two in number if we talk about the occipital bone this one is your occipital bone it is one in number and if we talk about the sphenoid bone it is one in number which runs beneath your eyes from this region to this region and if we talk about the ethmoid bone which is beneath your nasal bone it is also one in number if we count these numbers collectively then it is 1 2 4 6 7 and 8 as per our previous discussion we came to this point that cranium contains eight number of bones now just see this occipital occipital bone if we see this occipital bone from the back side then the structure will look like this there are two outgrowths or two protrusions these protrusions can be called as condyle your skull or human skull contains two condyles that is why human skull can be called as dicondyle in case of avis or in case of birds especially owl you can see that owl can rotate his head a uh, very large extent of degree or large angle they can extend their uh, they can twist their head but we cannot twist our head at that extent so in case of human skull you can see two condyles but in case of birds you can see only one condyle which helps their head to rotate for 260 to 280 degree celsius but in 80 degree angle but in case of uh, human you cannot rotate your head at this angle so monocondylic skull do uh, is present in case of birds and dicondylic skull is the human skull so that's all for this video now and uh, we'll be discussing about the brain anatomy in the next video probably so stay tuned and thank you very much see you in the next video